river block, dangerous log jam. In this vlog, I take my oldest boys canoeing in March down the Elk River. It got a little cold, but we managed and we had a fun adventure. Well, I'm trying to film this at the same time. Okay, there's the log jam there. Kids do not remember their best day of television. I think because it's March, my mom thinks it's crazy that we're going canoeing. But hey, Ski Hill's closed. It's a beautiful day. We like spending time outside. We're going canoeing. Hey, August! Do this fits all your, your winter jacket and stuff. You gotta take a breath in. Go. So you get small. Breathe in. Oh, there you go. You too. You need to breathe in. Suck in. Oh. Whoa. Hi, whoever. Why? Stay in the middle. What? Well, I'm not dragging you down there. motivation to make videos the last two weeks has been pretty low. I, uh, I'm not a very anxious person and yet since this whole coronavirus deal started I definitely had a bit more anxiety than I've ever felt before. And yeah, I just wasn't inspired to get editing and creating which is a bit of a shame because I've had a lot of downtime. Ski hill's been closed, no more ski patrol understandably so and just kind of been lazing around at home getting the bus ready court and the kids might go camping while i work my paramedic shifts Too windy paddling with one adult and two kids because I'm so heavy the wind wants to spin the canoe. Put him in, put him in in front of the seat and then put it underneath the uh They're like icicles in the... Oh, oh. <laughs> Pretty cool, eh guys? Extreme danger ahead. River block, dangerous log jam. Okay, so August, you're gonna need to listen to me very carefully, okay? Okay, August, paddle four. Yeah, good. Okay, one second. Well, I'm trying to film this at the same time. Okay, there's the log jam there. Do you see it, Luca? Right here. See how we got pushed this way? So we, we got time here, August. This is really good. We had a good angle. This is the upstream ferry angle. And let's keep paddling now. We're gonna go away from it. We gotta paddle hard in this eddy. Ready, let's go. Was it 
really scary or was it okay? Yeah. Well, you can see the river. Look behind you. The river is trying to push. All that current goes right into that wood. So if you get pushed in there, you can flip upside down. Snack is served. <laughs> well, the kids are getting cold. They're tired of the wind. So I told them to lay down below the gunnels. And that way it's a wind-free zone. Oh! We just hit a rock! Is there a hole in the canoe? There's water coming in back here. What are we gonna do? Guys, why did you hit that rock? We did it! You guys were supposed to help me steer. And then we just hit a rock. You guys were resting. You're, you're sleeping and I'm paddling all by myself. You did it. That was fun. I had fun. Hey, do you have cold feet? Yeah. That's okay. I think most of my anxiety just stemmed around uncertainty with my job as a paramedic. I've never experienced a pandemic like most of you watching this, um, but I've never experienced one as a paramedic. And just the uncertainty around that has made me kind of uneasy. And I just kind of lost my funk, lost my mojo there a little bit, staying on top of the news, trying to learn a little bit more, try to formulate an educated opinion on what my risks really are as a first line medical responder. It's all just uncharted territory. So. Until then, I'm just gonna keep keeping on. Spend lots of time with my kids, do what we normally do, go outside, have adventures. Even if they get a bit cold and cry a little bit, that's okay. Because that's what living the mountain life is all about. What's worked for me is just coming to peace with understanding I'm not gonna be able to figure everything out and there's a certain level of uncertainty with the situation and making peace with acknowledging that I can't get away from that uncertainty. And just making peace with accepting that uncertainty is uh, made it easier for me to keep keeping on and being a dad and living the life we wanna live as much as possible with keeping our distance from other people. Take care there. I hope everyone's staying safe. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. It helps out small video creators like myself. Thanks a lot.